Today I'm going to show you a few neck exercises that are going to be a great way for you to warm up for your yoga practice or before you sit at the computer, any sport, any kind of training you're going to do, and also just good to do when you've just been hanging out and you want to straighten your spine and lengthen and strengthen and mobilize your neck. So the first thing you want to do is start actually with the low back because the low back will help you get your neck in a good postural position. So we all spend a lot of time in this position. This is our computer position or when we're texting on our phone and our chin tends to get a little forward. So if we stack the spine and pull the chin in a little bit, it lengthens the spine. And then we start from the feet, push up through the knees with a little knee bend, tuck the pelvis, push the hips forward and come into a nice spinal wave. And this allows our back to begin to open, this sort of frees up the whole spinal cord, the central nervous system starts to help us update that proprioceptive map and it starts to loosen up the neck and you'll notice your neck might be a little stiff when you do this movement in the beginning and so just do eight or ten and then come back and anchor your hands on your hips pull your shoulders down point the chin in a little bit and then bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears and down so we're starting to loosen up the muscles that go from the shoulders to the neck and that can cause a little bit of tension. Reach the shoulders up and then head side to side, ear touching the shoulder. And you might hear a little bit of cricking and cracking, that's okay. Just notice the movement of up and down now and then circle around. So you can do 10 of each one of these or you can just do three or four depending on how much you feel like you need. And now bring the shoulders down. And as if you have a book on your head, bring your chin back and forth. So this is sort of a chicken move. And one of the things that a lot of people do with this move in the beginning is stick their chin out and up. And this creates compression in the cervical spine. And what we want to do here is pull the chin in and create more space here in this part of the spine, in the cervical vertebra, with the shoulders still. And now, for the second variation of this, we go side to side. So this might not be obvious how to do it to some of you in the beginning. You can put your hands up as if you're reaching your ear to your palm. This is a nice way to kind of cue yourself as you go side to side. And then you're going to put this movement together into a circle, forward, side, back, and side. And circle around. Keep looking forward as you do this movement. Keep the core a little bit engaged, the belly pulled back a little bit toward the spine, and come back. And now second variation, we're going to bring the shoulders back and forth, and the head in opposition. So as the shoulders go back, the head goes forward, keep pulling that chin in, and you'll get more movement here in the lower cervical and upper thoracic spine. This helps to free up the shoulders as well. And then side to side, keeping that book on your head, don't let it fall off. Shoulders going up and down, and the shoulders act a little bit like a teeter-totter here. Try to see if you can have the shoulders move in unison. And now pull that into a circle, forward, side, back, and side. And again, don't worry if you don't get this in the very beginning. Just get a good idea of it. Practice it in front of the mirror after you brush your teeth in the morning. It helps to wake up your neck and wake up your spine. Both directions. And then come down and then roll your shoulders and notice now with the spinal wave how much more fluidity and movement you have through your neck and through that upper part of your spine. Hmm.